Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. I just found out that I can make restaurant style pizza at home in less than six minutes. Stay tuned. I finally got my hands on the Paisano pizza oven and couldn't wait to make my own homemade pizza. The Paisano oven heats up to 800 degrees. Most other ovens heat up to only 450. It has adjustable heat control for the top and the bottom. So you'll have more control over the temperature for a more even bake. So if you like your top bubbly, you put that on high heat. So the coolest thing about this pizza oven is that the stone is made of natural ceramic which transfers heat evenly to give you that crispy crust that we all love. You know that bottom? Mm-hmm. It also comes with two pizza pills so you can transfer your pizza easily onto the stone and off the stone. And also a scraper so you can clean your stone once done. They also include a recipe book but I didn't even open that. I'ma check it out later but I have some of my own creations that I'ma do. Whenever you get a new item, especially something that you cook with, wipe it down. It's been in a factory, you don't know whose hands touch it. Give it a nice cleaning. So I used a damp cloth and just gave it a nice wipe down. Speaking about cleaning, I got a question. Do y'all rinse your vegetables before you cut them? Like onion and garlic? Let me know in the comments. Before you start cooking, the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 800, let it steam off, cook off, whatever, melt off, any, you know, stuff that's not wanted. Make sure you do that with all appliances. Let's get to the fun part now. I floured my pizza pills and I used some pre-made pizza crust from Kroger. Word to the wise, get the refrigerator dough, like roll it out. I'm going to do that on my next video. It comes out much better. I just got to learn how to roll out my dough to make a good circle. I have this grater that I got from Amazon. And let me tell you, it cuts shredding cheese in half. You can also shred your vegetables or whatever else you want in it. What's your favorite cheese on top of pizza? Right now I'm using mozzarella, but I know there's a long list of other cheeses I can use. Look how easy and simple that is. Go grab you one. The link is in my description. If I didn't have this grater, I'm sure grating cheese would have took longer than actually making the pizza. For the sauce, I am using a pizza sauce that I got from Kroger, but you can actually use a spaghetti sauce, even a sauce that has meat in it, or even like an oil and garlic or something. Be creative. I'm gonna be creative, just, just watch. Stay tuned and watch. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to subscribe and come back for more content. Thank you. Is there a technique for putting cheese on pizza? I usually start in the middle and then go around and spread all the cheese. Did I tell you that I was making a pepperoni pizza? I'm actually not a big pepperoni pizza lover. Like I'll eat it, but that's not my first choice. But for this video, I decided let's put something on top of the pizza besides just having a regular cheese pizza. While I'm preparing my pizza, the pizza oven is actually heating up. Even after your first use, you always want to heat up your pizza to 800 or your preferred temperature range. Now it's time to transfer your pizza to the oven. These pizza reels come in handy because as long as you're setting up your pizza on the reels, it makes it easy to transfer on the oven. Take your time when you let it down, one at a time. Close the lid and watch your pizza bake for the next six minutes. About halfway through, I did turn these little knobs so it could rotate mm, about one fourth. It's not a full half rotation, but it does help. What I do when my pizza is ready, I turn both knobs off. This way I don't forget to turn it off because 800 degrees, mm, 
Get ready for the money shot. Look at that. Look at that. Restaurant style pizza in six minutes. Ooh, I'm a I'm a hold off from these, you know, chain restaurants for a minute. Cause I'm gonna be making my own pizza. I'm already thinking about all the creations I'm gonna come up with. Use your two wooden pills to take off your pizza from the pizza stone. Be careful because it is hot. What's that on my stone? That's called season. My stone is now season. You want this because it gives that good pizza bottom crust. And don't forget, when you're ready to clean your stone, just use your scraper. You can't tell me that this doesn't look authentic. Scrumptious. Divine. Mouth-watering. Yummy. Appetizing. Satisfying, even. I can't wait to dive into this pizza. So remember how I showed that I use a Kroger pre-crust? Yeah, next time I'm gonna use a rollout dough because I actually like it to plump and get fluffy, like that fluffy crust. That's what I want. This is more of like a, a thin crust pizza, which isn't bad, but if you like that, this is perfect for you. I like mine's a little more fluffier, but it was still delicious. Look at that bottom. That bottom is what gets me every time. That looks like restaurant style pizza. If you know, you know. Definitely go get your Paisano pizza oven. It is small, it fits right on the counter. It can make up until a 12 inch pizza. It's great for date night, girls night. If you got kids and you wanna do like a pizza party and they customize their own pizza, you be whipping out pizza every six minutes. You'll be like a super mom then. <laughs> or just get it for yourself. Create your own pizzas. Also, a little tip, if you don't want to do the work of making your own pizza, grab you some frozen pizzas. You still gonna get that nice bottom crust that we all crave. And if you didn't think of this, it heats up faster than your oven. That's the key selling point right there. You ain't gotta wait 30 minutes for your oven to heat up. Get yours now. Thank you for watching.